Welcome to the Storybook Weaver Getting Started Tour. Let's make a story. This is the title page. Click here. Let's use these borders to decorate the title page. Click on this button to see more choices. Click on your choice to select it and press the Apply button. When you're done, click the Close button. In this space, you put the title of your book. Let's write about bears. This space is for your name, and this space can be used for a comment, a dedication, or a note about the author. Hey, the author, that's you! These buttons turn the pages. This is page one. Click here to see backgrounds for your stories. Drag this button to see more previews. Find the backgrounds you want, click to select them, and click Apply to put them on the page. You'll find over 1,800 objects for your stories with this button. Let's find some bears. Let's see. Animals? Wild? That's it. When you find the object you want to use, select it and drag it onto the screen. Or select it and click on Apply. You could even double-click the preview as a shortcut. To move objects, click on them, hold the mouse button down, and move the mouse. Now let's select this bear and make some changes. With the bear selected, we can start the object editor. And the bear is there. Use the tool set here to make changes. The magnifier is handy for getting closer. You can aim the magnifier at an area and click. With the pixels this large, it's easy to see the changes you are making. Click the magnifier again, back to normal. The check button puts the image on the page. Now let's change the other bear. Let's put a smile on this guy's face. There, he looks happy now. Now you can add words to your picture page to make a story. With this button, you can save your work. You'll need to give your story a name, then click Save. Here is the Stop button. You can do a lot of writing with Storybook Weaver. Happy writing!